Hey, what's up guys? So I just got back into my car. Um, I, okay, let me start from the beginning. I went to my local hardware store because I wanted to buy a peace lily. I went in there, they didn't have any peace lilies. I went on the Home Depot website, which is the next closest hardware store. They don't sell peace lilies in the store there either. I thought it was a common houseplant. Apparently it's not so common. Anyways, I then go into the Petco across the street from my local hardware store and check out what I found. I went to their area where they have the aquarium plants and I see this plant there. It says on it that it is a marginal plant and I read, um, so they only have like the scientific names on these and it says Spathophyllum Walsi Umbrella. And I was like, huh, the leaves kind of look like a peace lily. I look up what the scientific name of a peace lily is and check this out guys. The scientific name of a peace lily is Spathophyllum Villum Wallacey. So they're almost called the same exact thing, except this one has umbrella at the end of it. I don't know what the umbrella means. But anyways, guys, um, I also got these. They are miniature water lily bulbs. I want to plant some of these in my aquariums. So let's go ahead and head home and we'll get these in there. All right, guys, home now, check this out. So my peace lily type plant was $9.99 and my water lily bulbs were $6.99. Let's open them up. So I think I mentioned earlier, this is a marginal plant, so you cannot submerge the whole thing. I'm just going to submerge it like up to the top of the roots, like probably to like right there and keep the rest out of water and that should be it. And this right here is a suction cup and I just tied it to the plant with some thread. This is the method that I use to add other plants to my aquariums like my pothos. In my 15 gallon, as you can see, I, I did the same thing with the pothos. And my spider plants, I actually just used a hook to add those. I made a hook out of some wire, some, some rubber coated wire, and I was able to add it that way. But the suction cups are definitely like a pretty good way to go in case you're also trying to do this. And originally I was going to add this peace lily to my 20 gallon, but I think I'm actually going to add it to my 10 gallon instead. <laughs> Alright guys, I think that looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check out these water lily bulbs. Alright guys, so this is what they look like. I have bought water lily bulbs like this from Petco in the past. I'm not 100% sure if they are the exact same ones but the bulbs look pretty similar and they look to be around the same size of the ones that I bought before. And um, they actually produce like a, a reddish brown water lily pad like you see right here on the packaging. So I am thinking that it is the same type of water lily. Okay guys, so I'm actually going to plant these bulbs in the indoor guppy pond and I'm going to do it with this terracotta pot that I have right here. It looks a little dirty, but I spent quite a while scrubbing it off and making sure that there was nothing on it. And then here I have some pea gravel, which I just finished rinsing. So I'm going to plant these bulbs in here and then I'm going to put the whole pot into the mini indoor guppy pond. <laughs> Thank you. 
So in my experience with water lily bulbs, um, you don't really need to cover much of the top of them. Like this is the top right here of one, that's another one. You just want to cover enough of them to where they don't float up. So hopefully that'll be enough to hold these down. Let's go ahead and get it in there. All right, guys, so we're starting to get a pretty good variety of plants in here. Of course, we still have the water lettuce. My water hyacinth is really all starting to die off. It's almost all died off. Uh, we have the Anubius Nana Petite right here. We have the regular Anubius right here. We have the guppy grass like growing all over the place in there. And now we got those water lily bulbs. Hopefully those will grow pretty soon. And while we're here, guys, I just want to give you guys a quick update on this 15 gallon tank. First of all, check out the spider plants. They are growing like crazy. I've really seen a lot of progress in their growth. And as you can see, I've gotten almost all of the fish out of here. All the adult guppy slash endler guppy hybrids. Um, I think that there's only maybe like three or four adults left in here. As you can see, there's two over there. They're extremely hard to fish out with the net. I'm having a really hard time getting those. But yeah, there are only a couple left in here. And once I do get all of those out of here, I will be moving some of my mosaic guppies into that tank. And the Mosaic guppies are the type of guppy that I have inside the indoor guppy pond. And the 20 gallon is doing pretty good too. It is quite overstocked at the moment, but it's just going to be a temporary thing until I can get all the mosaic guppies out of the indoor guppy pond. And these guys will be going in there. And I do have a quick message for you guys, but before I do that, I have three shout outs for today's video. I have a shout out for Jason Soeda, The Tattooed Ronin, and Joshua Santos. Thank you guys so much for being Aquamigos. I really appreciate your support. If any of you watching this video would like a shout out in my next fish video, all you have to do is go down to the comments below and comment, I am an Aquamigo, and I'll shout you out in my next fish video. I post new fish videos every Friday. And just before we wrap up this video, video guys. I just want to give you guys a sincere thank you. We just hit 10,000 subscribers and I literally could not have done it without you guys. And the reason that I'm giving this thank you in an Aquamigos video is because the Aquamigos are by far my most returned viewers. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I do post like a bunch of different content to my YouTube channel. And believe it or not guys, only about 3% of my monthly views actually come from subscribers. Like 97% of my views just come from my videos ranking in search. So I just wanna give you guys a huge thank you because that really does mean a lot to me. And I just wanted to mention that in the new year 2022 I do have a lot of things planned you guys might have noticed that I started two new reaction channels in 2021 one in Spanish and one in English I'll go ahead and leave the links to those down in the description below as well in case you guys are interested in checking those out and my goal for 2022 I know it is a bit ambitious but I do want to start another channel which will be like vlogs you guys will see I already recorded my first video so I hope to have that post in the beginning of 2022. And believe it or not, I actually have another YouTube channel which is dedicated to original music that I haven't really announced yet. And another goal of mine in 2022 is to grow that channel as well. So I will be announcing like all this stuff in 2022. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up for that. And I know a lot of you guys are waiting for my pond build. Right now I am planning on starting the pond build in early 2022. So just stay tuned for that I still have to research exactly what I'm doing and I'm going to do it legit I'm going to do it as legit as I possibly can I'm actually going to draw out a plan and everything so it's not necessarily something that I want to rush because it is going to kind of cost me a lot of money to do so that's why I know I wish I could get started on this stuff sooner but for me being a small youtuber you know and financing all this stuff myself it does take a little bit longer but I'm so happy that some of you guys are actually really excited for that pond build because I'm also excited for it.
So yeah guys, once again, I just wanna give you guys another huge thank you for 10,000 subscribers. It's like, I can't believe that we're here, you know? As usual guys, if you did like this video, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like, that would help me out so much. If you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, I'll put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.